everybody, welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey, flying solo today. Alright, so when I first started making food for myself, one of the biggest challenges I had was making brown rice. I could not get it right. It was either too soggy or it was like chewing like little pieces of rocks or runts. It was so frustrating. Well, I've got an easy way for you to do this today. This is going to be a quick video, how to make brown rice perfect every time. We're going to use the Instant Pot. We're going to have two ingredients. We're going to turn it on and let it go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take our rice, which I have rinsed. You don't have to soak it. We're not trying to get it to absorb water, but I buy rice in bulk at, at that natural grocery place. Um, that doesn't always have organic food. And I rinse it, just because there's stuff in the bins, right? With, when you start scooping it out, sometimes there's an M&M &M in there, I don't know. I scoop it out, bring it home, I got it in my container, and then I wash it, right? And just clean it off. So I've got two cups of dried brown rice, which has been washed. So technically it's not dry, but it is dried brown rice. After that, I've got two and a quarter cups of filtered water, right? So two cups of brown rice, two and a quarter cups of filtered water into the pressure cooker. And give it a little stir here. All right, just some rice and water. That's all that's in there. I'm gonna get the uh, Instant Pot cover on. You know, I'm always worried this thing's gonna explode, but so far it's been really good. All right. All right, I've got my Instant Pot locked into place. I've got the steamer into sealing uh, mode so the steam doesn't come out. And all I'm gonna do is hit the manual button and set it to 22 minutes. That's it. Hit the manual button again and it's on. In 22 minutes, we're gonna have perfect rice. And this is gonna be fantastic for my burritos that I have every day. Uh, for, you know, when I have Mexican night, um, for, you know, my rice and beans, uh, for my stir fries. So we're going to have perfect brown rice. No excuses. We'll see you in 22 minutes. All right, so we've let the Instant Pot do its thing for 22 minutes. I've also let it sit for 15 minutes after that. So uh, just in case any extra water needed to be absorbed. But we should be fine. I'm going to release any steam that might be left. There shouldn't be any, but let's just give it a shot. Right. There's a little bit left, so we're going to let that release here. All right, so the uh, little bit of steam that was left is gone, so I'm just going to open the Instapot and let's see what we have here. All right, so far it looks pretty good. And we've got perfect brown rice. It's not too dry. It's not wet at all. It's perfect. You should be able to take a fork and fluff it up a little bit here. And then as you can see here, it's just perfect. The texture is correct. I can smell that it's cooked. As I'm uh, stirring it up, I can feel that the little, uh, the rice is not sticking together, um, which is great, yet it's still soft. Right there, right, you can see the steam coming off it. Oh yeah, it's really hot. <laughs> it's soft, but not wet and squishy. Um, it's just the way it should be. So this is gonna be perfect in everything I use it in. So at this point, I'll usually take a glass container like this, right? I prefer to use glass. Um, and then I'll just kind of spoon it all out, right? Just like that. And then I'll put the uh, cover on it, and then I just stack all of my pre-made food for the week in glass containers, and I keep them to the front. If I am ready to make a meal, I open my fridge, the first thing I see are these, you know, five or six glass containers with rice and buckwheat and beans, and I know right, right there, it's time to make a meal. Everything's at my disposal. I just put it all together. I found when I make food ahead of time, which I do every Sunday, and if I don't put it toward the front, I'll put other stuff in front of it, like leftovers or whatever from a restaurant, and I wind up eating those leftovers first before I eat the stuff that I prepared 
during the week because it's behind everything. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty uh, diligent about keeping my uh, my prep food toward the front of the fridge. So every time I open it, I've got a meal right there. And I'm also not going, well, there's nothing to eat. Well, maybe we should go out, right? Um, well, there's always something to eat. I've got my food right in the front of the refrigerator. So uh, just something to think about. Uh, clear glass containers with your food prep from the week, from your Sunday night or whenever you do it, all right in the front of the refrigerator. That'll keep you eating healthy. 22 minutes, two ingredients, perfect ground rice. You can help us out by hitting the like button, leaving a comment on your thoughts on this or maybe what you want to see next time. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you very much.